Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. Let's get right into it. First, during this week, we've had an airdrop drama, the long waited, once scheduled, and then got postponed, and nobody knows when it's gonna show up, and then suddenly it just showed up. Period drama on Ai Qi Yi, Ning An Ru Meng, the story of Kunning Palace, led by Bai Lu and Zhang Linghe. Now it's on air, and I have actually been following it every day. Probably I will make a video talking about it, just depending on when I can schedule it in into my still currently dealing with the leftover of my vlogs video making schedule. Let's just watch it as it goes along and then when the time comes, I will talk about it. Then during this week, we have two films that have announced they're gonna both go into cinema in December. The first one is gonna show up relatively soon on the 1st of December. And it is a film that I've talked about recently called So Trending Topics. And since we all know what trending hashtags usually involves and what kind of drama it can create in any individual's life, if they fortunately or unfortunately ended up on it, you already kind of can guess what type of film it would be. And it is led by Zhou Dongyu, Song Yang, Yuan Hong. How many films of which Zhou Dongyu is the female lead, have gone into cinema this year. She's got a lot of piled up work that just suddenly all got released this year. The other one will be released on the 22nd of December. And honestly, it is a film that I really, really want to see in cinema. It is the parrot film set in Tang Dynasty based on the novel written by the very well-known author Ma Boyong. Dun Huang, Inxiong, literally means the heroes of Dun Huang. If you have seen Longest Day in Chang'an, it will have very similar vibe, even very similar costume and production design. Based on the trailer I've seen, it really heavily reminds you of the overall style and vibe of that drama. And this is set in Dunhuang, which is in the west of China, and it's covered in sand, it's desert. Historically, a lot of very interesting things have happened there. This film is about a group of people guarding their city, and it is led by Zhang Yu Dou Xiao as the two most important male characters. This would be the type of film that you would want to pay money to go into a theater to see just because of the spectacle, the period, the costume, the sound. It would make sense probably more than a normal contemporary romantic film, for example. Mm, unfortunately, I can't. And then we have a lot of dramas that are either about to air or have all started shooting. We have a lot of started shooting projects. First, Let's talk about the trailer that got officially released right at the end of last week that I didn't manage to put into my last week's video. Yang Zi and Fan Cheng Cheng's drama Yao Jiu Jiu Ai, Stories of Youth and Love, that has released its first official trailer that really gives you a very good idea about what those characters are, what the production design style this drama is. That trailer gives you a very comprehensive idea about what you are about to go into and actually looking pretty good. At least the moments that they managed to put into the trailer of the acting of the two leads flow really nicely. So I actually look forward to this drama now. I just don't know when it's gonna air. It may air very soon. It may still need to wait for a month or two or even till next year. Since we're already talking about Yang Zi, the period drama that is rumored to start shooting in December, 99.999% sure will have her as the female lead. Guo Se Fanghua, Tang Dynasty setting, peony growing botanist girl. This week, has been 95% confirmed that the male lead is gonna be Li Xian. So it's gonna be the second collaboration between them since Go Go Squid. A lot of fans of that drama and this CP will be very, very happy to hear that this time they're gonna be in Tang Dynasty costume. And can we just have her styled looking like what she looks like in the variety show Guo Jia Bao Zhang, where she plays a princess of Tang Dynasty? Almost unanimously on China's internet is agreed as her best period costume look, counting in all her dramas in all types and thinking that that's actually a variety show about historical artifacts on stage. We're just like hoping maybe if this is a drama, can we just go down that route of styling and she will look really good in that. Because I'm filming this on Friday, I have heard rumor that tomorrow, Saturday, this will be officially confirmed. Like the uh, company is just like waiting for tomorrow somehow. Maybe they did uh, fortune telling and it's a good day. They're gonna announce it's Yang Zi and Li Xian. So it's like 98% confirmed. Let's hope it turns out to be true. I mean, I would be happy to see them being in the 
drama again after quite a few years and in a complete different genre and type of drama. Then let's move on to talk about all the dramas that have already started shooting or will start shooting very soon. In no particular order, we have a drama from Zheng Wu Yangguang, Fan Ren Ge, Born to be the One, directed by Jian Chuanhe, who has done very good but also very problematic productions. And it's led by Yin Tao and Wang Xiao. Would also feature Qin Junjie, Zhang Ruonan, and it's a Beijing set drama about these main characters who are all related either maritally or relative wise. You have the older middle aged couple Yin Tao and Wang Xiao plays, and you have their sisters and brothers, younger ones. Chinese title literally means the song for ordinary people or the song of ordinary people. So you can kind of picture this is probably a a more realism based contemporary life story of a group of people. And since it's a Zhong Wu Yangguang production, let's hope it has a guaranteed base level of quality. Also, Wang Xiao and Ying Tao, both of them are phenomenal actors. So basically, if the script is good enough and the director doesn't go mental, this could potentially be a rather good drama. This week, we also had a detective drama Ma from Tencent that has started shooting that made me very excited. It is called Yu Jing Zhi Shang and it doesn't have an official English title. The Chinese title means Upon the Ashes. It is a crime drama featuring two male leads. This time they are brothers and they are gonna be played by Sun Yang and Wang Ziqi. And then it also features Sun Yi. She is at the opening ceremony. <laughs> Wang Ziqi has some weird ties with crime dramas. He's been in period and contemporary multiple dramas that has that nature. And this is yet another one. And I actually do think he would pull off a very convincing brother with Sun Yang, just like looking at their faces. They look like they come from the same family. We also have another Tencent drama that has started shooting in this week. And already I am booked. When this one airs, I will be first moment clicking it open on Tencent. 24 episodes crime drama and the synopsis is really interesting called Qi Shi playing Go. A story about a Go player got tangled into a kidnapping case and to save his own ass, he helped the criminal escape. And after surviving the ordeal, he realized he has this hidden talent of planning a crime, an entrepreneurship that he can do to make himself rich. And he turned into a criminal consultant and really successful and things goes out of control. So this normal goal teacher becomes a mastermind of crime. Such a sexy story. And since it's in Chinese dramaland, eventually he definitely will get punished. Otherwise, it's not going to go through censorship. That's just how it works in China. But the premise of the story sounds really, really exciting. And the more exciting thing about that is the male lead has been confirmed will be Wang Baoqiang. He is such a unique actor. He's the only one in Chinese film land. Has that kind of legendary development of his career at this point and his just like overall package is the only one. You cannot find a replacement of Wang Baoqiang. And often people think he's only in those comedies, making himself looking a little bit embarrassing kind of characters, but he actually is a brilliant actor. I cannot wait to see this one coming out next year, 24 episodes. Middle of next year, <laughs> that'll be so exciting to see Wang Baoqiang in a drama, in a web drama about this interesting story. That you don't have to know anything about this particular person and it doesn't have to come from an existing IP and there's no superhero, there's no princess. It's just an ordinary person in extraordinary circumstances. So I am really looking forward to that. Sorry about the heating, it goes on because it's snowing outside. Then we have an IQE project that has said we'll start shooting very soon. It's called Xin Tiao, Faith and Law. It's a drama about the prosecutors. Another drama that's spearheaded by the Supreme Prosecution of China, actually. It will be probably similar to that Jin Dong and Cheng Yi drama. It's led by Xu Chuxiao and Liu Yijun. That's a really interesting pairing between these two. Guys, I will definitely check out this drama whenever it comes out. Then, we've just got a news in five hours ago that there is a drama that is likely to start shooting very, very soon. And it's gonna be led by Bai Yu. 30 episodes contemporary drama called Qian Tu Wu Liang. No English title yet, but the Chinese meaning is limitless future. And it's focused on people in the banking industry. He is a clerk in the bank who does not agree with his superior's 
wrongdoings, forcing him to sign certain things he think is irresponsible. And because of that, he gets kicked out of that branch and sent to a lower administrative level branch and got into his new working environment and trying to do the right thing. And this is very much tied into the current things you read on news about local banks, smaller banks, loans and debts, and a very complicated issue about financial security and crimes that actually exists at very root level that actually does happen in reality. So it's probably very much based on quite a few big cases that has happened in recent couple of years regarding small banks, local branches doing absolutely <laughs> scary things that are uh, shocking when they get reviewed. Maybe that story has something to do with that, if that's the case. Another very interesting project he's picked, and then we don't know much more about the rest of this project, but I believe soon enough we're gonna find out more. I know there are a lot of dramas ongoing. I am watching Ning An Ru Meng, Kunning Palace. I am watching Ji Su Bei Lun. Go fast on trust. I do watch a little bit of Yi Ai Wei Ying, Only for Love, although it's a plain torture for me. Honestly speaking, that drama is just so. I'm still watching <laughs> Rising with the Wind because earlier on I thought it's a little bit boring. Now I feel it's actually not really focused on any of the main lead's romantic line story, although it's there. It's actually talking about something that's bigger and involves more things about the business and entrepreneurship and capital investment and that type of thing. So it's actually more complicated than I first thought. So I'm still watching that one. I have finished watching Tian Geng Ji. Uh, I have finished watching Mysterious Lotus Casebook. Uh, I am also watching Le Yu Yuan Wang, Wonderland of Love. I'll try to get to drama one by one by one. <laughs> And uh, we shall see how we're gonna play out November and December. Right now, I just cannot even think that far ahead. Old dramas haven't been finished, new dramas keep coming, and I am inundated. Thank you for sticking with my channel and watching I'm New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.